Good morning, my stamping friends. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap with Tammy with a weekly Facebook Live. I am right down in what I call project mode today. Um, I didn't have time to fix my hair today, so I'm just being 100% honest. That is why we are, well, and we have a lot to do, or I have a lot to do around here today. I'm sure you do too. So we're going to just kind of jump right into it, but I do want to give everyone a minute to get here. So just go ahead, take a look at what I have on screen right now. This is a free PDF that is offered when you join my VIP Stamp and Scrap Tammy um, email list. So weekly I send out a tutorial of the week, but this is sent to you within 24 hours of joining that list. So I would appreciate it, or actually you would appreciate it too if you were part of that list. I send out a free tutorial every Tuesday, sometimes two, and then of course that also gets you in on any events that are going on. And my goodness, let's get rid of that volume. There we go, looks like everything is going to work for me today. Um, I'm pretty excited, I've got some new things here, so we're gonna work with my view that I have here today too. I have a new work surface, I got a light back. As you know, if you've been watching along the last few weeks, my light had broke. And so it was time to get a new one. I did a little you know, shopping spree, got a new light. I got some new um, backgrounds to share with you here. I love this one. This one might stay for quite some time because I'm pretty happy with it. And then I did get a microphone too, but I didn't hook that up. I didn't have time. So anyways, opt in for the email list. You do get this sent to you. And actually recently, I, look at this. I need to reprint one for myself. This is, your pen, what is it, right? So this is meant for when you're doing all those small little measurements and you're kind of second guessing yourself if that's 7 eighths or 1 eighth or 3 sixteenths and so on. Um, and so I need to reprint one of these myself. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, I will share this with everybody that's already on the email list again so that if you need another one to print um, because yours got a little tattered or maybe you gifted it to somebody else, um, you'll have that opportunity. A couple of people messaged me recently to get a copy of it. And so I'll share that with the whole general group in the next few weeks. Okay, but what are we sharing this week? Look at these adorable treat holders. I'm gonna make this one right here. Look at this, so cute. These are so darn cute. Okay, so this is what we made at our last Cafe Crafter team meeting. I suppose I could take this out of you. So yes, yeah, so you see I have a bigger surface. It's pretty exciting. Okay, oh, good morning to those that are watching too. So good, my comments are coming up. Everything is working for us today. All right, and so now I have a, I'm just using these as general treat holders, but something that I will share with you next week in the weekly email if you'd like this printable, um, I'll share the measurements on this one here that we're going to create today. But also there's a little um, saying, little kids love these things. I'm sending them out just blank like this with candy. But if you like this little sentiment, like if you're doing craft sales or you have a lot of kids in your life and you want to gift this to somebody who's been naughty, you can put different candies in there. And so there's a different sentiment for each one of these. But I don't have it on all of them. You know, the little snowman poop. That I know that was really popular at craft shows. Um, so anyways, that'll be a printable PDF that you will have the opportunity to print out. So anyway, so this was our Cafe Crafter make and take last month in November. Uh, next week we have our meeting. And let me tell you, the make and takes are adorable. They're not 3D. We're going to be making cards and we are going to be working in with some new designer series paper. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Little surprise though, so I won't say much more about them. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna do this project start to finish to share with you just how easy it is. These are the measurements right here. If you wanna take a screenshot of that, three by three, three by one, one by one, one and one fourth, one and one fourth. I mean, can it get any easier than that? Okay, so let's set these aside. And where are we going to start? You know, I am going to start. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So this is like trial and error day today. Excuse me, grabbing a little bit of coffee. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut emboss machine because this was kind of the whole reasoning behind wanting a bigger surface so that I could share with you some of these really cool little tips and tricks that I learn along the way as I'm working on projects. Okay, so what I'm using here, because we have to make, this is our elf one, and we need to make this little collar. And now when I was doing them, or you know, if you're gonna make this, you're probably going to make more than one, um, like I did. And so 
I took a piece of basic white paper, just cut it in half, just at five and a half. So it's five and a half by eight and a half is what I have here. And then I brought in my stamp and cut emboss machine. We'll see how this looks. Hopefully you can see it. Now my plates, I could maybe use some new plates. So you're gonna see how, but they work fine. So, you know, it's not really necessary, I guess, to replace them just yet. But look at these, these have seen some love. So I'm gonna bring in my base and then this layer here. I mean, there's pictures that tell you what to do. And then one of my plates here. So that's nice and flat. That's kind of the important thing. And so I needed to make multiples of these and I thought, because I think I had a prep for like 30. So how was I going to make that little collar for 30 people in a reasonable amount of time? So that's what I'm gonna share with you right now. So I got just that five and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper and I'm just sticking it right down here. And as you see, I'm gonna run that through and you can go back and forth. I mean, either way. So now on this side, now if you're like superstitious, maybe you have to move your platform back over this way, but you don't have to. I'm not superstitious, I just did that. Okay, and so next I'm gonna leave just a little spacing there so I can cut it apart. And I'll just roll that right on through again. And I'm gonna do that all along this entire um, space. We'll do a few more so that you get the idea of what I'm doing here. All right, so what else? Oh, what's going on today? So um, let's see, if you're watching live, it is December 1st. Um, if you're watching the replay, saying hello to you too, make sure you say hi. Let us know that you're here. We will have a prize patrol today, but lots of stuff going on today. So that's what I was talking, I was busy. Um, 1 a.m. my time yesterday, or this morning, early in the morning, the clearance rack refreshed. Our last chance list, some things were on deep discounted prices, went live. And then us demonstrators, let me share with you. I haven't done this yet. This is what I have to do when I'm done here. I have to do my pre-order. So um, demonstrators, we are getting to order out of this today. So if you missed out on that um, starter kit special last week or yesterday, it ended yesterday, um, but you want to order out of this, make sure, get in touch with me. We can make that happen because we can start ordering out of that today. And still, even if you miss a special, it's still a great deal. But anyways, if you took advantage of that special and you need some help getting set up ordering, you can let me know too. So today we get to order. So I have got to get on there and order all the papers, all the ribbons, so that we can get started on paper shares. Can you believe it's going to be that time? So there will be ribbon and paper. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? Now, this might not be like, this was like earth shattering. I realized this at like 11 at night, the night before I was prepping for these, because I was thinking, how am I going to, you know, cut 30 of these? thinking I had to just do it all kind of one at a time. And then once I realized how easy this was, it was just a game changer. So let me see here. So this is like a six inch thing. So I'm gonna actually just show you what I did. Okay, so now do you see, I wanted to, it was intentional that it's attached still. Okay, that was actually one of the main parts about it. So then what I'm gonna do and this is, let's say what these are again. I did put the um, basic supply list in the headline. So this is in there, the basic border dies. That one doesn't belong in there, but these are the other ones here. I didn't make a sheet for that just yet, but um, I just really got into using these recently. Okay, so this is going to, I'm gonna need this to be three inches. So look at what I'm gonna do here. Like, look at this, magical. There we go, look at that. So instantly, look at how many I have done. And now, of course, we need to cut just a little sliver off of there, which that'll be okay. And now you could grab your paper snips or you could just do this, okay? And then what we need to do, so I left them kind of thick. So this one is ready, but if I needed more from the middle, now look at this though. 
there we have like one for a little gingerbread there. But say I don't want to make this one and I'm going to make all this one. All you got to do is stick this back onto your paper trimmer and just cut it down the center. And now you have more. So do you see how fast that was to make these? I mean, you may think, gosh, you're all set now for, I don't know how many you want to make, but um, you can make a lot of them. All right. And then this is just a little acetate box. Also added that in the description for the supply list. Oh, I still need my paper trimmer. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. So look at that, I'm just so happy. Now I have more to make. I'm waiting for boxes to get here though. So let's do our basic measurements. And then you'll get a little look at how I like to use my paper trimmer, the different ways I use it. And so what I see a lot of people wanna do is they wanna line it up right here. And I don't do that because then you gotta worry about this being all willy nilly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring it right up to the top. I'm gonna look at my three because I want it to be three inches trim that down by three inches. Okay, see, so I'm using this tape up here. And as long as I'm cutting, I might as well do one more. So three by three. And now we need a piece of basic black. We need a couple basic blacks. So now what I'm gonna do, I want a one inch piece. Now I can go one inch this way, but guess what? For those smaller measurements, you can also use your guide on this side. So that's what I tend to do. But after you work with a paper trimmer, you always kind of figure out your favorite um, method. So that's a one inch by three. And then we also need a one by one square. So I'll trim that right from here as well for the center of like the little belt buckle. I'll set that to the side. And then I did bring in, this was actually on the clearance rack last night for like $3. So I'm not for certain if we have an actual silver right now, but anything that has a little bit of shimmer to it is going to work for the center of the belt. So this is some silver foil. And what do I need for that? That is one I need a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go one in one fourth by one and one four. So here's where you can see you can use either side of your guide. And can you believe it? That is all of the measurements for today. I mean, unbelievably easy. And so let's just go ahead and start putting this together. I hope I left myself a box. And I will tell you if you're putting these boxes together, initially it might seem like it's not really wanting to go together quite right. Hold on, I gotta find a box. Oh my, I thought I had one put together, but I don't. So let's just do that real quick. And so initially it might not seem like it's going together as smoothly as you would like, but after you start filling it, okay, so you gotta think, think about the candy um, then it really does go together well. And if it doesn't, you can always put a little piece of tape, but look at that, perfect. Um, and then this will be the top. But I'll tell you, after it had stuff in it, then it was nice and sturdy. Okay, so this is gonna be the back because we want it to close. I'll share these measurements and a picture of this project in next week's Tutorial Tuesday email. So if you wanna have like written instructions, um, be sure to check that out Tuesday usually goes out 7 30 a.m. sometimes at 7 30 p.m. depending on my schedule I'm not sure where my tape is so let's just go with some let's see what am I doing here let's see what are we doing here let's just grab some liquid glue I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue and I'll also use my tear tape when I put the final project onto there so a little liquid adhesive here will work. I'll probably have to find some dimensionals. I've been working in like five different areas of my um, space here recently. I think I have, if I count, I've got one, two, I got about five different projects going on right now. I've got some new catalog card swaps to get done and I'm hoping to get them all cut by tomorrow and then bring them with me. I'm going to another hockey tournament this weekend. Can you believe that? Um, up about two hours away from here. So in St. Cloud, 
I'm at. So I'm in southern Minnesota, um, and so we got to go about two hours. I don't know. I think that would that be north, kind of northwest, I suppose. And then let's put this silver foil. Now this would be very easy to make into a card front as well. And so this I will go ahead and put on. Oh no, this is where optional. Okay, so this one I did not do it. But let's add just another little touch on this one. So I made some with it and some without, and I'll bring in those other designs too. So if you wanna get a screenshot, maybe you're thinking of making these and you wanna get a closer look at them, I will do that when I'm done here. Now I'm looking for some glue dots. So because that would be really handy right now to put right here, but maybe since I don't know where they are, see, let's just be resourceful and figure it out. So I'm gonna use tear tape because I'm gonna end up putting this on there anyways. All about figuring it out. So it's not about, I tell my children this all the time because they're my children. I don't really ever get too upset with them about losing their things, but they are my children. So that, that means they're gonna lose things because I always do. You just have to figure out how you're gonna address the situation and either find your things or figure out how you're going to make it work without your preferred method. All right, so there, that's my life, big life lesson for the day. It's not about losing your stuff, it's about what you're gonna do when you do lose your stuff. All right, so let's find some dimensionals. Boy, this is looking good here. These were shoved in the drawer. See, no waste is going down here. I'm gonna put dimensionals on this one. Again, I did these all a little bit different too. Some I put dimensionals, some I didn't. Let's cut that off, that's not looking so good. So this is just the edges of a regular size sheet of dimensionals. All right, so let's bring in, if I have them handy, I thought maybe it would be nice I could just share with you, oh, right here. We'll just let you look at those. So if, as you're watching here, you're thinking, yeah, I wanna make these. You need acetate boxes. Now I just lost you all. Okay, let me bring you back up on screen. There, that'll give you a chance to to look at those. Okay, and so these are great little treats. I tucked these in, well, I shouldn't tell you. I tucked these in some class orders that went out this morning. Um, I will probably also make some of these up for my children to take to their friends at like the last, you know, before they head home for the holiday from school. Okay, and then let's just put that in the center. And all we have to do now is put it right onto our card front. Or not card front, our box front. So again, you could easily make this little design into a um, card as well. You could have a matching card. But for today, we're just gonna do this because I've got lots to do again. So reminder, there's still some great things on the clearance rack. I checked that out. I just did a quick scroll before um, we got on the live here, um, but there are some last chance items, things that I believe once they're gone, they're gone. So pretty much in our little mini catalog for the fall um, and Christmas, um, all the designer series papers usually, um, you know, kind of go away. So if you have some favorites, be sure to check it out. Um, there is an ordering link. I've got a pretty amazing order special this month, all month long. Now I need to get my boxes filled because look, or I'm gonna end up eating all these candies. And so I just like these, it just, they're pretty inexpensive. Um, great little treat to fill these boxes. And I'm gonna put five, I think five worked really good. Okay, so five, and then look at that. We have got the most simple treat box there ever was. So that does close pretty well. Let me see. There we go. Just got to be a little bit more rough with it than what you think. Okay, so that is it. Let me bring in those other designs that I had. But I think these are just about the cutest. Um, okay, so order special for the month. Anytime you spend $50 with me, any time of the year, I do offer a punch card. After you get 10 punches, you get a free stamp set from me. Of your choice, any value. Now for the month of December, a few times throughout the year, usually it's when I travel or maybe a month that I know I'm gonna be very busy and I'm not offering any extra events or anything like that. 
then I'll offer it. So I thought December would be a great time to offer a perk of double punches. So right now, all month long, until the end of the month, anytime you spend $50 with me, you will get a two punches on a punch card. So hundred dollars, you're going to get four punches. So you can see a free stamp set will end up very quickly for you. If you have a big wish list, let's bring these in. And I think there's one more sneaking in here somewhere. I have some more done. Maybe I should just bring them all in while I'm chatting. So you can just see how cute they are all together. Um, so yeah, great addition for December order special. And as if that double punches isn't enough, I have got designer series paper. I've got some where I ended up somehow with too much. And then I have some nice retired designer series papers that I didn't get a chance to use. And so those are going to be going to anybody that orders as well. So if you order with me, you're gonna get double punches. Look at all these. And also, um, a free package of designer series paper I'll mail to you. It will be random, so I will pick them out and send them off to you. So look at these cute treat packages. I hope that you love them. I'm gonna look, um, let me see. I'm gonna look here if there's any comments and say hello to everybody that is watching because I can see them this week. I mean, it has been quite, quite the um, couple weeks where I couldn't see them, I could see them. But it looks like everything is working great. What do you think of this new background? I am thinking I'm gonna like having this little bit bigger space. Looks like the light's working out pretty well. It is just gonna be a great day for me. All right, everybody. I do have one more video to do today for the Eden's Garden people. Um, oh, we're upside down here. So now I'm really looking forward to that because we have everything, everything moving and grooving the right way. All right, everybody. So let me see. Okay. So hello from wherever you are watching. We did have Prize Patrol winner. It was Deanna Hoffmeister. I don't have her prize. It was a stamp set. Last week's Prize Patrol winner. So Deanna is getting a free stamp set. Um, gosh, I don't know what this week's Prize Patrol is. I think I got another free stamp set to give away. So I believe, let me look at what it is though. It is. This is. We have got the last, this is the last one I had for Prize Patrol, Seasons of Fun. So, you know, the routine, take participate in the Facebook Live or in the YouTube replay, and you'll be entered for this stamp set for next week. I plan to be live next week. I didn't switch my calendar around, so I don't even know what the date is going to be. Um, live will be next Wednesday at 11 a.m., but of course you can catch this on the replay anytime. So I will be looking forward to sharing with you yet another project next Wednesday um, at 11 a.m. Central. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day and we will talk with you all soon. See you later.